Well, this diary dates back to late summer 2019. I've taken my young lad fishing for his first ever proper fishing trip. And as you can see, he was itching to get going. We got ourselves through the undergrowth and eventually we were at the river full of excitement and anticipation to catch one of his first fish. As you can see, we got the rods rigged up real quick, had a little bowl of maggots, and soon enough, Yay! we were catching bleak, roach, and little chubs. Wow! Oh, do you want to tickle it? Go on then, then. Oh! Right, should we put it in your bucket for a minute? Yeah. Okay, let's put it in your bucket. Do you like the maggots? Are you feeding them to your little bleak that you've got in there? That's called a bleak, that fish. It's called a bleak. Do you like the maggots? Do you like the maggots? That's a chub. What does he do? Can you give him a little kiss? Can you give him a kiss? Soon enough, I was back over to the huge park lake on a roasting hot day. I had the rods, all three rods, deposited onto that hard, silty patch that I've been pre baiting. And soon enough, I was enjoying a very relaxing summer's evening. Well, back down the park lake and I've seen a couple of fish only been here an hour or so saw a couple of carp just turn over right over the bait that I put in a couple of days ago so yeah things are looking good the lake looks quite alive at the moment it's flat calm so I can see absolutely everything it's been a really really sort of hot sunny day today especially for the time of year it's September now um, it's been sort of um, 22 23 degrees so it's been hot uh, yeah, so I've had fish showing out there. I've got all three rods out on uh, on normal tactics, fishing my uh, my little deep hole out and towards the middle. And yeah, this fish been showing, so I'm excited. I uh, had a dog come and uh, piss up my uh, distant sticks, which was nice. So I'm gonna have to give them a wash in the morning. And then Barley went and weed up it as well to mark his territory. So I'm going to have a lovely, stinky, wee-like bank sticks. So I'm going to have to give them a wash in the morning. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. It's a beautiful evening. I'm going to have some dinner in a minute. And you never know, one of the rods might rattle off in the early hours. I hope so. And I hope these cars will calm down behind. It's quite noisy tonight. So uh, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, actually, that I didn't mention. Oh, is that another one out there? I think it was. Oh my gosh, we've just seen three show at once. That's looking good because they very, very, very rarely show in here. I don't know whether they're on a fly hatch or something because there's loads of little swells on the surface. Uh, I don't know. Could be can't quite see close enough I'm gonna get the binos out in a minute and have a proper look uh, but yeah I've had a bit of a nightmare with all the floating weed there's loads of floating weed beds about so I've tried getting the line through it uh, and I've, I've back leaded from the rod tip to try and keep it down um, I would try and fish the rod tips up high over the top of it but the swans here are an absolute nightmare as well so they'll be going through the lines flying through the lines which would be a nightmare so just trying to keep the line underneath the uh, underneath the weed with the flying back legs and I'm hoping it will work so yeah hopefully those showing fish will get their heads down we'll catch a whacker tonight unfortunately that session resulted in a blank but at the weekend my old mate Lewis and I went to the stadium of dreams the Olympic Stadium West Ham United, where we actually enjoyed West Ham win one of the very few games that they've won this season against Man United. Absolutely buzzing from the win. The following week, I was back down the lake. Right, so I'm back down the lake and the weather is absolutely epic. All the, uh, the soaring heat from the last few weeks seems to have vanished and it's feeling very, very autumnal at the moment. I've got a westerly blowing into this swim 
the sky is very, very moody. It looks like it's going to absolutely batter down with rain in a minute. Um, and the conditions couldn't be carpio. There's a bit of bright sun at the moment, but that's soon going to go. Uh, temperatures aren't overly hot, uh, sort of upper teens. Um, just feels epic, you know, conditions couldn't be any better. So uh, I've come down to the night, for the night even, um, on a bit of a whim. I didn't actually plan to come tonight, but I looked at the weather and thought I've got to get out. Um, so all three rods are out as normal. Um, I have put one on a food bait tonight. As we move into autumn, I like to sort of start switching over to, to food bait pop-ups. Um, and so uh, I've got a triple X on there to, um, to match my offerings and a couple of bright ones, all on the normal spots on that lovely, hard, silty area that I've fished uh, for the last few months, really. Um, and I'm hoping that I'm not gonna get breamed out tonight. I fished last week, didn't do any filming. I caught like three or four massive bream in the night. Uh, there was floating weed everywhere, which was a nightmare to get your lines down. And to be quite honest, casting back out at night uh, was a nightmare because I couldn't sink the lines or anything through the weed. Um, and it was all a bit frustrating. So uh, I'm back now. All the floating weed has gone, thankfully. The rods are out and it's uh, pretty epic. So hopefully, I'll catch something. We will see. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to mention is uh, I'm now going to be doing quite a lot more angling. Uh, my job circumstances have now changed. Uh, I am still with CC Moore in terms of um, in terms of bait. Uh, you know, they're all pals and everything. Uh, but I have actually left my role as uh, media and marketing manager now, uh, basically to do my own thing. Uh, which means I will have more time for angling, uh, more time for travelling in terms of um, going abroad, might do some fishing abroad, uh, whilst working on a new project within the fishing world. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be live or anything like that for several months still, because I've got a lot of hard work on that. But it just means that I can be on the bank more. And so I can work on the bank um, and, you know, do, do more fishing. So hopefully I'll be able to get out sort of 48 hours a week and so my blogs are going to be a lot more regular and I'm hopefully going to have a few more carp to show you. So very, very exciting times and it all starts now. So hopefully next time you see me, it will be with a big old carp. Cheers. Well, we're looking through the little letterbox because it has started to rain. And the conditions are very, very carpy. There's a westerly wind trickling in. And yeah, conditions couldn't be any better, to be honest. So hopefully, the night will bring a whacker. Fingers crossed. Well, it's pitch black, or it's just getting dark. And all three rods have just been wiped out. No idea how, I think I had a bream on one rod and as I was reading it in, it tangled up the other rod, somehow got hold of the other rod and I've had an absolute pickle of a nightmare. Um, managed to get one rod back on the spot fairly quickly. Uh, the other two seemed to get mega tangled, catch on a load of thick weed in close and one of them has snapped. So I'll be re-rigging one rod up I actually think I'm only going to put two rods out there tonight because uh, the spot is quite tight and in the dark, in this wind, it's going to be a nightmare to get them um, spot on. So I'll be happy to get two rods back on the spot um, and then I'll have to recast the first light in the morning. So not a good start. Uh, really peed off to be quite honest. Um, I'm going to have to pull my socks up and uh, get the rod back out on the spot. So wish me luck. Well, the weather has been grotty to say the least, but unbelievable conditions. And the rod rattled off about 10 minutes ago, and I have a lovely rod sitting in the net. So I'm absolutely delighted. As you can see, conditions are absolutely epic. It's been pouring down with rain, windy, then sunny, then rainy. Uh, yeah, I can ask for better conditions, but I've got to pack up soon because I've, uh, I've got a meeting this afternoon, uh, but I'm delighted. I've got another original in the net and uh, I can't wait to come back. Apologies if it's uh, very windy, as you can see. Uh, 
I don't care, I've got a fish in the net. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's it. Yes, the entire fish. Now the line is coming, so keep, keep on going. Now it's a better exposure. Yes, it's perfect now. It's lovely. Lovely fish. <laughs> Good. Very pleased. This should do. 28 seconds left. 27. Good? Yeah, all good. Dear Jimmy's diary. Yeah. <laughs> Last day officially at work. Although I will of course be working. But new things on the horizon. Um, just on my way home with Greasy. Greasy monkey. Yeah. And it's lush weather. I'm gonna get the old suntan lotion out, I think. Proper carpy though. I'm gonna get some bait in tonight and I've got two days to fish this week loads of fishing to do so hopefully I'll have something to show you. Goodbye from me. It's absolutely peeing down with rain. I've got my old trike out, I've got a scooter, been on a baiting up trip, it's absolutely horrendous. Just on my way back to the car park right now, blowing a gale, chucking down with rain, but uh, baiting up's done. Got put in the effort these days. Um, yeah, we all in and out, bait up, back home to the lasagna, and then fishing next two nights. Unfortunately, all that effort baiting up in the rain resulted in 48 hours of slimy bream. I had 15 or 16 in total, up to about 12 pound, and I'd had enough. It was time for some perch fishing. Well, it's officially the perch season for me, beginning tomorrow. Just got to Browns and uh, need to stock up on all my perch gear. Got loads of bits to get, lures, floats. Need to get some bait as well. And I've brought the little man with me. Say hello. <laughs> got the little man with me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little wander around, see my old mate Jack, and hopefully get a few bits. These are my absolute air cheese up. Loving these. Don't want to break them, so I'm going to get that one. Little perch bobbers. Lovely. Following Uncle Jack into the little maggot shed where they are lovely and fresh. Of course, it's cold in here, mate. Those bad boys. There you go. Lovely and fresh. After going to Brown's, I decided to take the young lad out for some dessert to a very special place in Bletchley. The desserts were awesome. We had chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, <laughs> all sorts. And then it was Halloween. Time to carve some pumpkins. Oh yeah. And we also did a little bit of trick or treating. There's dad as Frankenstein. My little lad as a skeleton. We got loads of sweets and nibbles. Oh, there was Barley as well, who was a little pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin's been sick. Well, good morning, bright and early from a very beautiful looking River Ouzel. The river is in perfect nick. We had loads of rain last week while I was in Croatia, but it's fined down beautifully. We've got rain in the next couple of days, so I had to come out today for my first perch fishing trip of the year. And it looks absolutely pucker. I've got all day to go at it. I've got four or five venues written down to try today. So I'm gonna hop about for a, a few hours at a time and see if I can locate some big perch. Got loads of tactics with me. Got, um, got the float with me, lure rod, live bait rod, worms as well. So I've got all the bits. Hopefully, I'm going to catch some perch. Hey. Lovely little perch. Otherwise known as a wasp, that one. <laughs> About half a pound. Lovely start. Well, out perch fishing today. It is the afternoon and uh, all I've caught so far are a load of little wasps, so, which I refer them to. Um, they are actually small perch. Uh, yeah, had a load of wasps, about half a pound so far on the liveys. Um, none of the big ones just yet. I'm sitting on the oozel, a beautiful little bit of river. There's a little bit of colour to it, which might be why uh, the big ones aren't quite feeding just yet. But um, I'm going to give it till around four o'clock. I've got to pick up my lad Huxley at five, so I can't give it quite till um, sort of perch time which is just before it gets dark but uh, I'm going to leave it till the very latest I possibly can. Got a couple of hours left hopefully I'm going to get into a big one. Lovely little perch. 
pound and a half maybe, something like that. Absolute little corker. They are the rings of the fish that has just showed, aren't they Bradders? <laughs> well, good morning. I am down on the Elson's complex for a tutorial and we've done the first 24 hours for nothing unfortunately. It's freezing cold, fish aren't really playing ball, but we've gone for a little walk this morning and we found a few in the edge. Uh, I actually baited with pellets, a mixture of mini ultra mix earlier, um, just in a few sort of marginal spots on the gravel and just gone back and a few fish seem to be feeding. They're all clouding up, looks great. So just getting Joe to skip in his rods now. I'm gonna tie a couple of solid bags, lower them in onto the spots. You never know. Hopefully we'll catch something. So after a quick move, Joe was finally into a carp. Well, he absolutely ripped off right out of the edge and he was soon doing battle with something pretty powerful. He got it closer and closer to the net and before long she was ours. And it looked like a good one too. Yes! <laughs> we worked for that fella. Yes, we did. He's a 20 pounder. Is he? Yeah. Oh mate, yeah. What a solid car. He was out to Oldham, didn't he? Look at that. 20 something pounds. 20 something pounds. We're no short leg, but well over 20 pounds. Bloody exciting right on the edge. Yeah, we'll take that one. We've had to work hard, haven't we, yeah. for this one? Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's all come good in the end, isn't it? Absolutely. Just rattled off, we had a rod in the edge there, and it absolutely screamed off. And then we've got ourselves a bit of a rhino. Chunky cool. one. Let's get yourself some nice pics now, yeah? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get her back, bro. Lovely. Yeah, boy. Well done. <laughs> After the action, it was lunchtime. It was time for an omelette. My favourite omelette into the Ridge Monkey with a few slices of chorizo. Absolutely delicious. Ooh. After that, the action became thick and fast with Joe right. landing several fish up to about 20 pounds, right. including a really a nice, nice scaly one. As the night drew on, my rod ripped off too, and by morning, both Joe and I had two very nice carp to show for the cameras. I had one on Elson's, which turned out to be this incredible common. Check that one out. <laughs> An upper 20 from Elson's on a freezing, freezing cold November's day. And believe it or not, this one was out of the margins. Didn't expect one to go out of the margins this time of year but uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that one. Beautiful autumnal colours and an old battle axe by the looks of it. Really bulgy eyes, little nude patch of scales on it. Yeah, we'll take that for November. Right matey, let's get you back. I'm looking after this cheeky monkey, Piper Porter. Wind your barley up, hey, poor old Tinksy. <laughs> Where are you going, Piper? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> right, should we go out for a walk shortly, you two? Should you go for a nice long walk somewhere? What do you think, Barley? Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> do you go for a walk? What do you think, Piper? Shall we? Should we go somewhere else? Do you want to? Huh? Oh, you cheeky pooch. Oh, hello. 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 Ah, hello. Come on. Shortly after that, it got really, really cold. The Ridge Monkey Boys came down to do a few photos on my local park lake, but as you can imagine, I caught absolutely zilch. Well, good afternoon. 
got a couple of hours perch fishing this afternoon so having a little wander along the canal now a couple of good spots along here been tipped off on a couple of good spots as well um, by a couple of mates over at brown's angling so yeah i'm gonna give it a try today got a few hours gonna give it just into dark got worms got maggots just been in the shop to get some and i'm uh, raring to go so hopefully i'll catch something How about that? Nice perch, just under three pound. <laughs> Absolute beauty. Well, <laughs> I'm back down the canal this afternoon. Uh, done and done a, or been and done a feature with, uh, with old Gricey boy. Um, down at a local lake for Total Carp magazine and I had a few hours this afternoon, so I decided to um, come down to the local canal and uh, do a bit of perch fishing. Um, yeah. Oh, let's just get that focusing right. Yeah, do a bit of perch fishing. It, the river's really, really coloured at the moment, proper murky, really muddy, lots of cold water flushing in from all the rain we've had, so they're pretty much unfishable. Um, but I've, uh, I've popped down here this afternoon and I've had a bit of a red letter afternoon. Had them of, uh, two pounds, two pound eight, and um, two pound twelve so far. Got dad with me as well, he's lost one. He's about to come marching past. There he is. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a really good afternoon. We're just getting into the witching hour now. It's about an hour from dark. So I'm hoping that we're gonna catch one on dark. It'd be nice if old dad caught one. So um, yeah, hopefully I could have a bite or two. Well, very good afternoon to you. I am back down the canal this afternoon. Uh, the river's still a little bit high. Um, there's a lot of coloured water going in there. So I'm back on the canal and I've set myself a little target. I've never caught a canal three, three pounder before. So um, my little target before Christmas is to try and catch a three pound canal perch. It's, uh, it's a lovely day. It's really, really warm for this time of year. Um, it's drab, it's not bright, so it's perfect for the old perch. And uh, yeah, all set up. Got my magoirs, got some worms, got the old John Wilson quiver tip out. So I'm uh, I'm very tooled up and ready to go. Absolutely love canal fishing. There's no leaves or anything like that to annoy me today. It looks absolutely spot on. So uh, all I need is for the perch to uh, oblige now. Fed some maggots down the edge to, uh, to a little boat over there. And um, I'm hoping there's going to be a few hungry perch about. So uh, yeah, going to enjoy it. Hey boy, keeping an eye out. Our rods are out. That rod on the left is an old John Wilson, rest his soul, an old quiver tip, his Avon quiver tip. Absolute legendary rod that I've had since, I don't know, I must be 12, 13 years old. And that right hand rod just had a little knock. Right, better stop filming now. <laughs> there you go, greedy little wasp in the net. Really wanted that lobworm. Little one, probably half a pound. Lovely. Lovely old perch, two pounds 14 from the canal. It's a real cracker. Look at that, proper old dinosaur. Shortly after slipping back that old warrior, this huge pike snaffled a worm. Must have been 13 or 14 pounds and then shortly after that, I caught another two pound perch. It was a great session and one to remember. I flitted with the rivers after that. Both Brad and I caught loads of little pencil pike and perch along the way. And then on my next session, I finally hooked into a nice perch. Well, good morning, back on the perch hunt once again. And within first half an hour, float went under the one with the livey on and I caught one two pounds, 12 ounce of awesome, awesome dark river perch uh, yeah unfortunately forgot to film it but photographed it so here it is absolute belter and uh, yeah continued catching little liveies got one out there now I've had a few boats go past so it's disturbed the swim a little bit we give it another half an hour and then make a move to another strip so uh, yeah great start my next session was my first ever perch tutorial the canal was muddy and brown but we left it till the death and Phil 
managed to PB. Phil has definitely just obliterated his PB. What do you think of that, kidder? Awesome. <laughs> definitely a PB. <laughs> <laughs> right. A beautiful fish. Let's get her back. Let's slide her back, mate. A bit of a Christmas session. It's Christmas Day in how many days, Al? Five days? Six days. Six days. So I'm here doing a bit of a Christmas session for the diary. I'm here with my mate Dan and my future, well, current partner, not in a sort of a, a relationship sense, but in a business sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Grice is down here shooting a few bits for CC Moore. Right. And I'm down here just to have a nice time and pretend I'm Santa Claus. It's gone, gone pretty well so far. We arrived at first light, um, got down in the pegs that, that do fish, that have been doing pesh, a few fish recently. Uh, pegs 14 and 15. Got here in the dark, bucketed the swims. We managed to get them luckily and someone turned up sort of just after we did. So um, good job we got here. Caught fish straight away. Dan's had a few fish. I've had a couple as well. Actually, no, I've had one and lost one. Um, and it's been going pretty well. The mirror I had was Scraper doubles, I think, it was a lovely clean fish. And we're hoping for a few more bites. You can hear Barley in the background whining because he's ready for his lunch. Um, but normal tactics, sort of fishing tight to the island with bright northern specials seem to be doing the do. It's gone a little bit quiet, sort of last hour or so. But I'm pretty sure it's going to pick up once again in the afternoon. So, yeah, lovely little Christmas session. Hopefully, we'll have more fish to show you.